Hello everyone, welcome back to POVRA Faded Memories. So last time we had a video where I finally wasn't annoyed the entire time. I was annoyed part of the time because Yang was being Yang. And you know, I'm worried because everyone's after Orlock, so their lives are in danger. So, you know, still not great, but you know, it was better than it has been. So I'm hoping that we're gonna continue that streak today. Um, Orlock is uh, resting because he got shot because Gilbert found him, but I guess he lost him. Uh, I, 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 we've been in this room for a bit now, so I'm wondering how long it's going to be until someone finds us, because I feel like that is inevitable. Like, we're not going to just spend the rest of this route hanging out in here, all peaceful-like. Um, what chapter are we even in? I don't remember anymore. <laughs> how far are we into this? Okay, let's, let's continue though. Orlock, are you awake? Looks like he fell asleep. I gave a sigh of relief. I looked at Orlock's sleeping face as I pondered over the words he just said. Hey, uh, what words did you just say? It's been a bit since I recorded. <laughs> Orlock said something about not having the right to express his feelings. Oh, okay. That's what he said. That's absolutely untrue. He had the right to feel and say whatever he wanted. He fought for me and got, inj and got injured, all the while worrying about my well-being. He looks like any other boy, too. His sleeping face looked a lot younger than usual. I'm sorry, Orlock. If only I had the power to protect you. Seeing his sleeping face was making me feel guilty for not being able to help, being of much help to him. There's really not much we could do, you know? I, I, I have no idea how we would help in this kind of situation, other than what we're already doing. The following morning, I woke up before Orlock did to prepare breakfast. Good morning, Orlock. Oh, hi, you. Oh, let me change your bandage. I sat next to him, lying on the floor, and unraveled the bandage around his arm. Thank goodness it's not swollen. I wrapped a new bandage around his arm. Um, Orlock. We should clean you up today. Let me help you wipe down your body. Do, do, do we have a bath in here? Yeah, thank you. This is an important question. We apparently have a kitchen in here, which I did not realize. Is there a shower? Orlock blushed and quickly pip We're off to a great start. Push me back. <laughs> there was no time to be blushing. I needed to clean him up to ensure his wounds were okay. Please stay still. It's hard to take your clothes off like that. You can't use your right arm like you like before. So, but, 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 do we have a bath? Are you sure about that? I helped Orlock remove his clothes. He looked embarrassed and apologetic. I handed him a tub of hot water and a towel. So we don't have a bath? That's what I'm taking? I was worried whether he could really get himself clean, but so far so good. I'm just intensely watching him. Making sure you're getting clean. Seeing that he was doing fine, I finally realized I was blushing too. Well, yeah, now I would think. I quickly turned around, thinking to myself that I just... Ooh, scandalous. Oh my god. What would God think? Well, I, we know what Jesus would think. <laughs> no wonder I was blushing. A few days passed and Orlock's wounds were looking much better than before. I suppose he heals quickly too. But after checking his bullet wound, it didn't seem to be completely sealed yet. Look, any time, like in games in general, but especially Atome's when they talk about healing quickly, I just cannot help but think <laughs> of Mystic Messenger when the, the, I think it's the casual route, is that what the one is with the first three routes? When like, Zen breaks his ankle and it heals in like a day. He's like, I heal like a beast. <laughs> Every time, that's what I think of. I heal like a beast or like heals like a beast. I don't even like Zen, <laughs> but that's just what I think of. Orlok was probably one only able to move because of the strength of his body and will. As I kept thinking about him, one day, soro soro, to... You heal like a beast. Wait, you should rest a bit longer. I 
That is true. Like, what, what are we going to do then? Where? Where are we going? But where should we go? Absolutely not. What if you're attacked again? That disguise, remember the disguise I was talking about? We need to get you one of those. Okay, the wig, the outfit, the, the new name, the voice. Suddenly, I heard a tapping on the window. That, why? It's a little creepy. My heart jumped, and I started shaking, but Orlok calmly went to the window. Who is it? Oh, okay. I thought it was like a person, like, <laughs> let me in. Orlok brought the pigeon inside and took the paper tied to its leg. What is it? What does it say? Oh, no. I might have to meet him. I don't want to... You mean Bishop Roseburg? Orlok nodded briefly, and I listened carefully at the sudden turn of events. Oh, I don't want that. that. That sounds not good. I don't trust him. It looked like Orlok was relieved and glad to hear of his arrival. I don't want to leave Berlone either. What? Despite Orlok's smile, I couldn't seem to quell the anxiety inside me. I feel like I've got no choice in this. Bishop Rosberg was well known and respectable. I, he doesn't have my respect, I'll tell you that. But I had my doubts, especially knowing now that he worked with the Laoshu, and even from listening to Orlok's stories. I'm glad we're on the same page, girl. Still, there was no way I could share my doubts with how happy Orlok looked. I'm really not sure if I can trust Bishop Roseburg. Same. I don't trust him. <laughs> Oh, what's going on at the church? Oh, no, is it the bishop? The main hall was charred and damaged from the battle between the Laoshu and the Falzone. And this was where Bishop Joseph von Roseburg was coming for his consultation. Eee. <sighs> okay, then this is also confusing because, so, the Falzoni, how much do they know about him? And like, his whole deal and plan? Because Sister Sophia is on the end with the Falzoni, but she's also part of the church. Does she know anything? It wasn't going to be easy, but we needed to clean up the place as best we could. I don't want to meet him. Uh, I think he's got other motives, personally. Uh, I think I don't know if I want to find out what he's like. <laughs> Soon enough, Bishop Roseburg arrived in Berlone and came to our church. Does he have a sprite? He looked upon the people gathered here with kind eyes as he began his speech. Oh, there you are. Hmm. You look suspicious. I don't trust you. You're wearing too much bread. You got evil eyebrows. There's the music playing in the background isn't very fitting of a bishop. So <laughs> His words are your words. Don't fall for it. 
個人的にゆかりがあったそのつながりからいつかはこの町を訪れたいとロズベルグ様のお話すごく有意義だった。Bishop Roseburg was going around to see each person here, holding their hands and talking to them. It's an act. I don't trust him. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go An old woman spoke hesitantly to Bishop Roseburg. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. Oh, and you're a liar. 人々を支配しようとするものを許しはしない。うん。So you're a liar too. 申し訳ありません、ロズベルグ様。いや、謝ることはない。顔を上げなさい。You're phony. 迷える子羊よ。迷うことは罪ではない。人を惑わす。心なき者たちが悪なのだ。That's really funny that you say that. The sin. Is with those who seek to deceive others because my entire impression of you so far is that you deceive others. Bishop Roseburg consoled the old woman with kindness and wisdom. No, I don't think they were, especially since Orlok was involved. And Orlok himself was like, Yeah, the bishop wants you know to be with the Laoshu. There was no way Bishop Roseburg would associate himself with the Laoshu. Oh, but he did. Bishop Roseburg's visit ended, and the people who had gathered to see him dispersed. We were at the refectory serving coffee to Bishop Roseburg. Hmm. <laughs> ラオ州に組みしているのなら放ってはおけまい。Oh, you're such a liar. ま、待ってください。I quickly raised my voice, hearing the conversation turn to Lily. あの子は噂で悪く言われているけど、決してそんな子じゃないんです。エレナ、ロズベルグ様の前ですよ。気持ちはわかりますが、落ち着きましょう。いや、もうビショップロスプキンサケ。いや、その話、ぜひ聞かせてほしい。彼女は優しい子だからラオ州に利用されたに違いありません。Look, I'm just caught up in a mess, okay? I'm just like sort of going with the flow because there's nothing else I can do. 聖女だってラオ州が言い出して、最初はそれを信じている人もいたみたいだけど。今は違うとはい。教会で銃撃戦が起こったり、ラオ州のせいで最近治安が悪化していて。町の人々はリリーこそブルローネを騒がす元凶なんじゃないかって言い出すようになって。Oh, great. I'm so glad that's what they think of me. 聖女を語っていたんじゃないかって。I didn't do anything. I am just here existing. Okay, I got kidnapped and taken to the Laoshu, and I was just trying to exist, living a mostly normal life, you know, as best as I could. And then the Laoshu are out here like, she's a saint, and now all of a sudden I'm being accused? I never said I was a saint in the first place. そんな噂がどんどん大きくなってしまっているんです。彼女は自分が聖女だなんて思っていないのに。You, You're a true one. そうだったのか。それはとても心の痛む状況だ。Bishop Roseburg listened to my tirade with a serious look on his face. 無礼を承知でお尋ねします。ロズベルグ様の受けた信託があの子を示したのは本当ですかそそれともラオ州の人が勝手に言ったことなんでしょうか教えてください。Yes, let's hear what your answer is. Bishop Rosberg smiled at our questions. いずれ、時が来ればわかる。A perfect non-answer. ロズベルグ様にはきっと何か考えがあるのね。Unable to ask anything more, I clasped my hands together. 神様、どうかあの子への誤解がなくなりますように。Please save me from Bishop. Bishop Roseburg arrived in Berlone and finished his consolation at the church. He sent a message to us to meet him at the hotel where he was staying.、Mm. We left the hideout early in the morning to avoid the crowds. 
This didn't feel right, I know, right? It really doesn't. Bishop Roseburg was staying at the most expensive and lavish hotel in Berlone. I'd never stepped foot in here before. This place was so beyond my reach that I felt uncomfortable being here. I had even heard rumors of famous people using this hotel when they visited Berlone. Unlike me, Orlok was walking down the hall without any hesitation. Hmm, I I'm really wondering how this meeting's gonna go. I breathed a sigh of relief, seeing that he was walking fine, just like before. Um, Orlok, have you been to this hotel before? No. But the That's a sketchy sentence. <laughs> I suppose this is why he has been able to work as an informant. We stood before the room we were to visit. I knocked on the door. It opened slightly. Upon seeing Orlok, the door opened wide, and we were beckoned inside. A man from the church let us in. Holy! Crap! There's multiple floors! There's a living room! Oh my god, you weren't kidding when you said that this place was expensive. At Orlok's introduction, a man sitting on the sofa stood. Hi, this must be Bishop Joseph von Roseburg. Oh, and you listen to that? It's it, the music that's playing. It's not all like, oh, like, like for, uh, oh, am I forgetting his name? Emilio. Not like for him. Pleased to meet you. My name is Liliana Adonado. Bishop Roseburg looked at me with a sweet and gentle smile. He doesn't look sweet to me. He looks evil. Bishop Roseburg looked at us with loving eyes. They don't look loving to me. Oh, no, it's not that they're not loving me. They don't look loving to me. I cut you off and I don't even care, because I don't trust you. Bishop Roseburg spoke to me with remorse on his face and concern in his voice. Mm. Oh, I don't trust that one bit. Uh uh. Thank you very much, Bishop Roseburg. Uh, mm, listen, you're in cahoots with the Lao Shu. Uh, uh, mm, I don't like this. I bowed with heartfelt appreciation at his kindness. I hesitated to ask what was on my mind. Excuse me, but may I ask an impertinent question out of curiosity? Come on, yo. Nani kana? The Lao Shu said that you ordered them to protect me. Why were you working with the Laoshu? Are you gonna answer it? 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 So you decided to work with the Lao Shu, who's not religious at all. But Orlok is... Wasn't Orlok their weapon to fight? Right. Bishop Roseburg continued. Bishop Again, the Lao Shu, who aren't religious. Like, I. Do, do, do you think I'm an idiot? That's why I'm not going to be able Bishop Roseburg gave a heavy sigh. Well, 
It was not a lack of foresight. I asked him. Okay, let me check. You're only apologizing to me? Is your apology directed only at me? <laughs> your apology and your words of kindness were directed only to me. I was wondering if you were going to say the same to Orlok, who protected me. Orlok risked his very life to fulfill the mission he was assigned by Bishop Roseburg. He faced death in the battles that ensued, and injured himself in the line of duty. Didi. The first person to respond to my words was Orlok, not Bishop Roseburg. I don't care who you are, you still deserve an apology. And a thank you. How is it your fault when you are listening to that dude? Really? Really, dude? That's what you're going to say? But the fact that he did the wrong thing is a fact. The fact that he did the wrong thing is a fact. The fact that he did the wrong thing is a I sensed no kindness in the words he just said. Orlok was completely blind when it came to Bishop Roseburg. Thank you, Lily. I am so glad you see it. I listened, hoping to hear words of consolation, but not a single word was mentioned to Orlok. I still don't trust him. I couldn't rid myself of the doubt in my mind. No. I don't know what your plan is, but no. Mm. You only receive visions when it's convenient. So, this is my I suppose you're a liar. No, Oh, Orlog, you are so brainwashed. I understood what Bishop Roseburg was saying, but I still had my doubts about him. Bishop Roseburg looked at me earnestly and began to speak to me. No, it's your word. I don't believe in you. It is. Please, I'm I mean, like, why am I just supposed to believe you? You just say that you have a vision and got this prophecy, and I'm just supposed to believe that? I'm just supposed to be like, well, yeah, you're a bishop, so obviously you wouldn't lie, therefore I will believe you. Like, no. We need to suspect you. I don't believe that. I could tell Bishop Roseburg wasn't lying. Oh, no, he's lying. Maybe not about that last sentence. I don't know. But he's a liar. He spoke honestly and boldly as if he were a messenger of God. Well, you know, maybe he went to acting school. People act in fib. Bishop Joseph von Rose Roseburg. Either he's a saint or he's a really good liar. Maybe not that good. I saw through him immediately. Anxiety was building up inside me. Contrary to what he said, I wasn't certain that I could rest assured just yet. Something was telling me otherwise. Listen to your gut, girl. We gotta jump out a window again, okay? Jump out a window. Chapter 6. Hey. This is where I stayed with Dante. I want him back. <laughs> After meeting with Bishop Roseburg, we were led to another room in the hotel. Don't like that. I feel like the Laoshu could easily find us. Anyone could easily find us. I, just, I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. I'd never stayed here before. I have. The room was incredibly beautiful, but that wasn't my concern at the moment. With me and Orlok alone in the room, I decided to ask for more information. Orlok, do you mind telling me all you know about Bishop Roseburg? <laughs> you could say that. 
I saw how much you respect and trust Bishop Roseburg, so I wanted to know more about him. I recall you told me how you met him before, but what happened after that? Did you live with him? That's what I want to know. Geika wa Kyokoku no Kyokoku Gitenshu to yobareru soshiki de Gitenchu wo tsutometeru. The. Don't make me say it. The. Magisterium? That's my best guess. Kyokoku no shikko suru tenre to ka Gishiki to ka So yu mono no junbi o suru tame no busho. That sounds familiar. Oremo so koni shozoku shiteru. Really? A disciple in a teaching ministry? Take me deep in thought. Orlock nodded and went on to explain further. Please do. Please。それが人。Shito. Is that why you killed Dante's dad? Eliminate? Ah, Kami no Oshie ni Hanshte Rio ni Kikoru Kamo Shirenai Kedo, Chiga Akuma de Kami no Oshie o Mamore Tame Kyoko no Arjiwa Samazama na Kuni Kara Neraware Teru. Orlock paused and thought for a while. Anata mo Shitteru to Mo Kedo Tato Katste Italia Oko Kua Kyoko Rio Ohaba Nu Wai. That's sad to hear, but I suppose such a thing would not have been impossible. The church was blessed with the faith of the masses, so to prevent the church from becoming a threat, many of those in power have taken drastic measures against well known believers. Other countries would certainly have much to gain in doing so. On one hand, it's like, okay, I guess that makes sense, but on the other, it's like, it's still very contradictory to church stuff in general. Um, and it's also something they're keeping hidden and lying about. You see, it's the covering their hands in blood part that doesn't sound quite right. Hearing his words reminded me of when he was fighting the Mafia. So it's gotta be why he killed Dante's dad, but... I don't know what kind of threat he would be. I guess the same threat that they think the Falzone is now, which is none. I'm See, which is why it still doesn't make sense. The logic of all this doesn't make any sense, because if you're going to go to hell for it, why would that be something that needs to be done in the first place? Like, why would the church be encouraging it? Why would they be like, yeah, God's chill with this? This sounds backwards. This doesn't sound right. I know you're brainwashed at all. I'm not, like, telling you. I'm talking about the system and the bishop that's probably running it. That must be Orlok's faith. Yeah, and see, that's kind of weird to me that he takes in this little orphan child and raises him to be pretty much an assassin. Orlok seemed to be recalling those days. He also taught you how to murder. And that's what concerns me. You know, that is what I'm concerned about because you are very brainwashed. I suppose Bishop Rosberg must be what Sister Sophia is to me, a special person. I hate to tell you this, but Sister Sophia is leagues better than the bishop. Sorry. He nodded with a smile on his face. I think I should punch Bishop Roseburg to get, you know, just to like make things even. You know, you punched my special person, so I should punch yours. Please. It made it difficult for me to share my doubts about Bishop Roseburg. 
Understandable. Even if I told him, I doubt he'd listen to me, but... Orlock, I hope what... I hope you won't take what I say the wrong way. I actually don't trust Bishop Roseburg. <laughs> Here we go. Oh my gosh. I feel like there's some ulterior motive behind Bishop Roseburg's words. I think he may be lying. Remember what you said to me back then? Come on, Orlock. I was right about the Laoshu. Trust me. It was the day we arrived at the hideout. I recalled the words he said as we warmed ourselves under the blanket. <laughs> <laughs> right, I mean, if you don't know what happiness means, the bishop certainly didn't give it to you. The bishop never taught you to value your life. It was then that I wanted that I wanted to tell him. I want to tell him that you deserve better than the nasty bishop. You deserve better. You should be more blessed. Do you remember what you told me that you were blessed? Oh, do you remember when you told me that you were blessed back at the hideout? But No, you are Raised to be a murderer. There are many children who were raised in a loving family. But if you were assigned missions without a chance at feeling what happiness is... I recalled seeing Orlok smile when he was playing with the children at the church. <laughs> he didn't get that a chance to do that. Perhaps he didn't know back then that he was smiling. Come to think of it, he mentioned he couldn't smile like those kids. Thinking of his past gripped my heart even more strongly. You have the right to play, laugh, and eat good food. Don't you think you deserved better? <laughs> After listening to my words, Orlok seemed dismayed. He slowly began to speak. You're not going to agree with me that easily, are you? けがをした時に誰かがそばにいてくれると痛みが和らぐとか胸が温かくなるような時間を過ごせたそれは事実。I cut him off because he talks so slow again. Orlok spoke slowly. Oh, I know he did. <laughs> As if recalling all that he had been through. He was tracing his past and connecting it to his actual feelings then. Back at the hideout, you told me that you felt joy and happiness like never before. You also said that you may not have the right to say that. And whose fault is that? The bishops! You never asked for these missions, Orlok. Why not? I don't see why you have to force yourself to not feel things. People experience joy and happiness, and they express that in words. And you never asked to be a disciple. You were forced to do that role, buddy. Just because you're a disciple doesn't mean that you need to get rid of your emotions. You're telling me that Bishop Roseburg has given you such a life? If so, I can't trust him after all. Yes, Lily. Yes. 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 I'm, I'm so happy we are feeling the same way. That's so true. If this is the life that the bishop gave you, then he's a piece of crap. Orlok's body was shaking, and he looked at me with trembling eyes. <laughs> Listen, just think it over for a bit. Okay, I don't expect you to like immediately flip on him. Just think it over. Think it over, okay? Orlock gripped his chest as if he were in pain. 
けどごめんはいはい cut you off again after his apology orlock turned around and quickly left the room night fell and i lay in bed with the lights off i couldn't sleep i looked up at the ceiling and sighed I went too far. No, I don't think you did. I think that's something he really needs to hear. We need to like snap that boy out of his brainwashing. And I think that's the first step. We need to sort of try and open his eyes, get him thinking about it. R what right do I have to question their relationship in the first place? Um, I think you have a right to the second you are dragged into it. <laughs> the second you are now here being forced into all this mess because of the bishop and you're like with Orlok, you're basically in the middle of their relationship. It's directly affecting your life. Regret began to fill my, my heart, and I hoped that Orlok was okay. Still, I can't trust Bishop Roseburg. My distrust of him made me, worried, made me wor more worried for Orlok. I continued to think through the night. Oh, before I knew it, it was daylight. Meanwhile, we got two, duty. Where we go in, Visconti? I am Gilbert. Come and stay more right, Ina. Kyoko no Yojin, Nado. I didn't stuck in Ain Dana. Yoane or Hakunate. Roseberg, a hontonic saturnara. Tataki Swiss, the Yaritakum Narudaro. I want to crush him. You stay. Am I still Sisuriona Ninga? Or no bigakuni Hansu? Yeah, you get it, Gilbert. お前は意外と新人深いからな。ああ。それにね。ロズベルグはそもそも気なくさいんだよ。大体異問だって名目で今この時期にブルローネを訪れてるが。いや、ベリーコンビニエント。どうせ本音じゃ。あの女とオルロ
from the intel I received from my soldiers stationed across town. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh no. But now is not the time to strike. Visconti mo shitome sokoneta naite da. Ima wa kouki o mata nakereba. I needed to kill Orlock. Dante, I don't want you to die. It seemed he was guarding Bishop Roseburg at one of the local hotels. I couldn't do anything against the church, as it would only worsen our family's position. Rage came across my expression. I couldn't suppress my anger knowing what someone from the church was in knowing that someone from the church was in contact with her. <laughs> I know. I do need to be with the Thalzone. Because that's what you are. I told myself to stay calm. As much as I would love to be kidnapped by you, you can't do that. <laughs> You're gonna die. This is Orlok's route. You can't kill him. Please, Dante. Please, I'm begging you. Ugh. I'm getting dragged into so much crap for just existing. Holding back a murderous rage, I continued to wait for the time to arrive. Things are going great. Before I knew it, it was daylight. Ah. Unable to say anything after what happened, all I could do was listen to it as his footsteps faded away. I felt so terrible about what I had done. I needed to I needed to apologize to him, but I still couldn't get myself to think straight. The whole day, I stayed inside my room thinking about Orlock. Still, I didn't know what to say to him. Hey, buddy. I stood in front of her room. All I had been doing was bringing meals to our room. Which is why I wouldn't open the door. In the meanwhile, His Excellency was going out to town for his consolations. He was accompanied by another bodyguard, since my presence would be, would be noticed. But I was relieved he didn't take me. I couldn't leave her alone here. I knelt next to His Excellency and whispered. What do you mean this situation has not changed? Am I supposed to leave my room? What? His Excellency wasn't saying a word. He must be worried about her. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. Oh, Warlock. That's not happening. I believed in him. All that he had said thus far has been correct in its truth. He's a liar! It had been only two it had been two days that Orlock hadn't opened the door to this room. He simply came by to leave meals in front of the door. I knew I should talk to him, but I couldn't muster the courage to do so. I hope his wounds are clean. I wonder if he'd changed his bandages. I'm not even sure if he's eating right. The more I thought about Orlock, the more I were the more worried I became. I recall the days I spent with him back at the hideout. Orlock looks happy? Um, Orlock, how does it taste? That's good to know. I'll make it again next time. He didn't express himself much, but he seemed very happy when something he liked was served. After that, after the days I spent watching him eat, I finally could read when he was happy or not. I'm just thinking about things. Or lock the time has come to decide. It's either His Excellency or me. Whenever I was with him, I felt calm. I knew I was safe those sleepless nights, 
as long as I could feel his warmth beside, beside me. Despite the dangers, the time we spent together at the hideout were precious to me. I went to see him. Suddenly, I realized what this pain gripping my, at my heart was. It was loneliness from not being with Orlok. Well, and also the fact that you've been alone in a room for two days. That too. <laughs> How long has he been so important to me? The cause of my loneliness, the difficulty in seeing him, it was all my fault. It's all the bishop's fault for being so sketchy. I need to apologize to him. Baby, so Ah. I opened the door and leapt outside. Hey! Orlock! Surprise! Orlock turned around and looked at me with a surprised expression. I'm sorry, Orlock. I... I stopped myself. I stopped myself. I shouldn't talk to him out in the open. Um, do you have a moment to talk? Orlock nodded at me a bit, a bit awkwardly. I let him in my room, then continued my apology. I'm sorry, I was... I overstepped my bounds. I shouldn't have said those things back then. Orlock thanked me, but I still had conflicting feelings about the situation. He still trusted Bishop Roseburg. That fact hadn't changed. But I'm glad I could break the ice with Orlock. After seeing him leave the room, I breathed a sigh of relief. Good talk. It had been a while since I'd seen his face. That alone brought a surprising serenity to my soul. Another meanwhile reason. Ah, this room but flipped. <laughs> Your room is the reverse of mine. I decided to go and get something to eat. I wondered why the food tasted so good. I knew that the food served at the hotel was both expensive and delicious. Was it because I met Lily? Lily was amazing. I wonder why. I wondered why. I thought for a while, but didn't get an answer. Alright, you keep thinking. Oh, we're still going. His Excellency returned late at, at night from his consolations. He called me to his room. Oh, did you? How convenient. Yeah, let's hear it. A new prophecy. I was sure it would help ease her soul. Oh, I doubt it. Or so I thought. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Indeed. I thought His Excellency spoke in a calm, calm voice. <laughs> I have to laugh. I like, I'm not even surprised. The death of Lily? Mm-hmm. No, I know what God wants, and God wants some wee tennis with Dante Falzone. <laughs> uh-huh. I'd heard that story somewhere before. Yeah, I'm sure 
Yeah, come on, Orlok. He's saying the same thing as Yang. That should be a red flag. Better what to be a saint. I never asked for any of this. I couldn't hide my confusion. Orlok, let's jump out the window. So. So we got a killer. And so what are you going to do? How, how am I supposed to die? Are you going to murder me? I don't know how to do this. 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 ラオシュにただ利用されていただけだったと。そしてマフィアの支配に対する反発を抱き、あの、だけど。Lily is to be with God? No. Look at his face. He just looks evil. I couldn't seem to accept his prophecy. どうした？計画が俺を見てるできないなんて失望される。だからいつもみたいに返事しないと。Yeah、put on an act. Save Come on, this has got to be what snaps you out of it, Orlok. His Excellency nodded solemnly. Ooh, okay, well, we're going to go ahead and end today's video here then, I think. I can't say I'm surprised. I cannot say I'm surprised. That is so funny that this guy just so conveniently got another prophecy that tells him exactly what he would want to go with his plan and exactly what yang had said oh my god i didn't trust him before i met him and now i met him and he's even worse okay i'm 99.9 percent .9 sure that this guy is full of crap even more not like 99.9999999 percent sure <laughs> um but i feel like such like a giveaway is like okay compare it to meeting emilio who was this like holy figure and just like the music that would play when he was around it was like oh and then when he's around it's just like sketchy music so yeah i don't know subtle detail but i like it um <laughs> I, I, hey i'm not annoyed i just i have to laugh because i'm like oh my god it's it's so convenient i of course of course that's what his uh prophecy would be and he just so conveniently got one now when he was here and when he assessed the whole situation in Berlone. oh okay bishop roseberg but Orlok does not seem to like this, obviously. I'm hoping this is what's going to really be, like, what's going to wake him up, finally. Because I really wasn't sure what would do that. So maybe between us planting the seed in his head, being like, I think he's not good, and then this will make him, you know, want to turn against him, finally. Yeah, this is actually a really interesting one. We've got a lot of interesting stuff with this bishop and learning about him and Orlok and... Seeing what Gilbert and Dante are up to too. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video as well. Let me know what you think about nasty Bishop Roseburg. <laughs> and with that, I'm gonna go ahead and go. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.